Hey guys, just wanted to do a quick unboxing on this new bodyless roller that I got. Uh, I was wanting to do a Proline Power Wagon body that I've got in the mail and I wanted to figure out what to put it on. So while I was looking at some different things, I came across this cool RC SCX10-ish aluminum carbon fiber assembly pretty much a bodiless roller and I had a bunch of people well okay one person who had asked me to uh, let everybody know what I thought of it when I got it so it's a shout out to Jim 85 I rock on RC crawler and let's get into this thing see what we got so this was supposed to be really good CNC aluminum, and I know that because it said it right on the website, so it has to be true. But this is one of those deals where it listed for $540, I think. I'd seen it on AliExpress for $475, and TomTop had this for... $308 shipped from China so I said what the heck I've wasted a lot more money on less things so of course it had to be upside down let's go for the bags first bags are always good looks like we got an aluminum recovery front bumper already got some D-rings and the mounts let's go ahead and open that up And it's got a place for a winch mount, I can see. Looks pretty nice. Not bad. And then we've got some body posts, a bunch of pins, and some battery straps. Oop. And looks like an aluminum servo horn. Wonder how many how many teeth that is. Anyway, let's get a look at this thing. It looks pretty nice. So after an assortment of Axial, Anvitera, and MST products, this some seems pretty decent. Everything looks nice and solid. It's definitely all aluminum. The uh, frame is definitely carbon fiber-esque. Maybe that actually is. Hard to tell. Battery box looks like the same thing. Um, actual bead locks and some no-name tires. Those may or may not stay on there. We'll see how that works out. Definitely uh, really nice turning angle here nice and sharp nothing in the way to stop it I can't tell if those are CVDs so I'll let somebody else decide if those are CVDs needless to say I'm not an expert at this I'm still kind of a noob so I'll throw that out there up front so I can get away with saying pretty much anything and you can flame me or hate me or whatever. That's okay. So, we got aluminum links or maybe steel. Uh, those might be steel. Steel drive shafts. Looks very suspiciously like an Axial SCX-10 transmission. But, shocks. not bad not a lot of articulation but I'm sure that's fixable looks like the shocks are also aluminum and seem to be adjustable I'm sure they'll need some oil that'll leak right back out but uh, it's gonna be a uh, rear mounted battery for now apparently an aluminum radio box 
not too bad. This could be very interesting. Now I know I may have disappointed a few people who watched my unboxing on the RC four wheel drive Trail Finder 2 with the LC70 body. All I can say to that is I finally got it built, ran it once, and sold it very quickly. Not going to be an RC four wheel drive fan. Not that I'm hating, I know a lot of people love them. It just wasn't for me. So I'll throw a couple stills at the end of this for some close-ups and uh, once I get the body in I'll probably put up some more about that. Thanks for watching.